Good evening and welcome to our live podcast, You Talking Good. Please remember to like, follow, and share. We're coming to you live from our studio here at Greater House of Prayer Church. We're located at 700 East 111th Street in Chicago, Illinois. My name is Minister Cheryl Fowler, and I'm joined by our lovely hostess, the ever, ever present, bright and gleaming, all the time, evangelist Deborah Leverett. Thank you, Minister Fowler. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to another episode of You Talking Good. Um, Always a shout out to Minister Andre Cunningham for giving us our name over at the Cosmopolitan Church of Prayer. Uh, We love you so much for that. So look, we're going to talk about, you can see it, it's right here, Santa, the reindeer, the gifts, the presents. Uh, We're going to talk about the holidays. Home for the holidays. Home for the holidays. Home for the holidays. Mm -hmm. Look, this is the time of year where you see the decoration, the lights, the wreaths, the Santas, the reindeer. I mean, everywhere you go, everywhere you go, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Christmas. Uh, the interesting thing, though, is everybody's not happy about the holidays. No, they're not. Even though we, you know, we're going to say, oh, happy holidays, happy holidays, happy mm-hmm. holidays. Mm-hmm. This is not a time of year where everybody is super duper happy. Correct. Um, so we need to really talk about the holidays mm-hmm. in an in-depth fashion. Um, so I, you know me, I'm going to do the numbers. And so I looked at the vast number of people who are not generally happy during the holidays. So 38% of people in America are usually depressed uh, during the holiday season um, due to money, relationships, Mm -hmm. uh, some type of memories, or people are still mourning or grieving Mm -hmm. over a lost loved one, if not from this year, then from previous years. And 70% of people are generally very, very lonely during the holiday season. So even though we see all of these commercials with family, friends, Mm -hmm. get togethers, Mm -hmm. um, we have a tendency to kind of overlook that group of people who are not cheerful, who are not, who are not even looking forward um, to to the holidays. So we're going to talk about that just a little bit, but I want to ask you before we get into that, do you have any like um, family traditions or things that, you know, you and your family are going to do or your friends are going to do for the holiday season? Well, you know, thank you so much for asking. Um, typically, you know, I'm not from Illinois. I have to travel home to St. Louis, Missouri. Oh, okay. And uh, I am not going to travel home this Christmas. Uh, I'm going to go home uh, this coming week. So this time around, normally around Christmas time, me, and family, friends, we'd all get together. We put up and decorate our lovely Christmas tree, a real one that we actually oh, went girl, out. Not the real tree. You sound Absolutely. like Pastor Leverett. Hey, we're like Clark and Ellen Griswold. We went right on out into the tree. <laughs> I'll say the tree where they keep all of the nursery. Wow. And we actually cut it down. We had an ax. We cut it down. It wasn't as big as theirs, but Small enough to be You're able serious? to fit. So we, yes, ma'am. So we cleaned it. It had a lot of sap. We, we fed it water. All of that good stuff. So we believe in that type of trish, uh, tradition. We would decorate um, the tree. Uh, we would just spend family and friends time uh, together and remembering the real reason why we celebrate. It is not at all about Christmas presents, the Ooh. type of Christmas presents under the tree. Ooh. It is about the birth and the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Okay, so we're going to get into that as Absolutely. well. So we don't have a lot of uh, family traditions in and around Christmas, like okay. Pastor does like okay. a live tree. Uh, so he and I have battled back and forth mm-hmm. with the live tree. Mm-hmm. Um, he's given in. Okay. Um, over the last couple of years, because he usually is the one that's got to go get it. He and my older daughter, and uh, when my daughter, my younger daughter, um, when she was like in high school, she, mm-hmm. in grammar school, she enjoyed going to get it. But like you said, you got to water it. Absolutely, you got to vacuum up those needles, and yes. then after the holiday season is over, somebody's got to drag it out. You got to mm-hmm. clean up all of that. Yes. Um, I, now I will say this: I do love the pine smell. See, I do. Absolutely. I love that fresh pine smell, but I don't Absolutely. participate in the going to get the tree. <laughs> I don't put it up anymore. <laughs> Every now and then I might throw on a decoration or two. You know, the oh decoration my. that the kids Absolutely. made in Absolutely. kindergarten or first grade. I like that. But the one tradition um, we really have, mm-hmm. I guess it's become a tradition for me. Okay. Um, because, I don't know, I just like it. I, I make jello shots. 
Oh my. Girl, come on over. Jello I make jello shots. shots. I'll be right at your I house. got them red, green, blue, orange. And you may say, well, first lady, why are you making jello shots? Girl, what you doing? I'm going to tell you why. Because the holiday season, it's either going to bring out the worst in people or, or it's going to bring out the best, best in people. people. Amen. But after you have a few jello shots, everybody will be acting like. Woo! So you got some of that act right, as we call it. Some act right. That hen, that Hennessy. Ain't no right. Hennessy in the show. Oh, shots. my goodness. No, well, we're not what? putting Hennessy in the good, good, shots. Good, but good, good. First of all, they're colorful. See. They're really small. And and it's so much work to do for the holidays. I can you're that. cleaning up, you're mm-hmm. cooking, Absolutely. you're shopping, you're Absolutely. wrapping gifts. We generally stay up. Like two, three o'clock in the morning on New Year's Eve, wrapping wow. gifts. Wow. Yeah. Wow, I mean, wow, we're a fam- wow, wow, we're a family wow. of six. Um, when my grandfather was in the body, we're a family of seven. So it's a lot of gifts to wrap. You know, everybody's and we used to do Secret Santa. Ooh. But my youngest, she she won't play right. So she she goes around and she finds out who everybody's secret Santa is. And she's like, look, you know who your secret Santa is. And the person's like, no, <laughs> let me tell you. Like, be quiet. So, you know, but nobody Argues about the jello shots. And so that's mm. why that has become a tradition. Hey, yeah, man. I can understand now yeah. why. Yeah. I do. But I you do. know what? When, I mean, just you and I talking about mm-hmm. what we do, there mm-hmm. are some people that don't do anything. Absolutely. Because they don't have anything to look forward to. Nobody's Absolutely. coming to visit them. We have to look at the vast number of people who are in the hospital, who are in nursing homes, um, people who are just alone because they're estranged from their family, mm-hmm. haven't spoken to their mother or their father or their sibling in years or in several months. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, what do you suggest? Well, guess what? You can call our free prayer line. I mm. promise you okay, girl. there will be a minister available to pray with you and for you. You can dial 1-866-927-5446. That number again is 1-866-927-55. I'm sorry, 5446. That again is 1-866-9-ASK-JIHOP. So this is a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week prayer line. And it's not just for prayer. Maybe you just want to have somebody to talk to um, on Christmas Day, on Christmas Eve, the day after Christmas. Um, a lot of people don't know this, but my mother passed away um, the day after Thanksgiving. So oh, wow. Thanksgiving is, it's kind of bittersweet for me. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm preparing foods, but I can't help but to remember it was just a, a regular day. Um, and so then all of that tragedy, all of that trauma occurred. And that's why I know that the holidays are very bittersweet for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. So let, let me ask you this, because mm-hmm. I heard you talk about this a few minutes ago. It's the day where we celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus mm-hmm. Christ. Mm-hmm. So if you're a Christian, if you're a believer, then you know that that's what Christmas is all about. So does that mean we shouldn't have Santa in the picture? I never said that. I once, as a child, because I did not understand mm-hmm. My parents and grandparents, we celebrated with Saint Saint Nick, and mm-hmm, Santa mm-hmm, Claus, mm-hmm. and those things. But mm-hmm. as I got older and I began to understand and read, mm-hmm. not so much anymore because gotcha. it's not about. Again, it's not about giving these these gifts. I think a lot of the younger uh, children today, if you don't educate them and share with them, what's the real reason? They're, oh, what are we getting for Christmas? I want all the presence under the tree if it had not been for christ Mm -hmm. none of us would be here okay none of us would have any present that should be the most celebrated present that's again my opinion well i mean i knew like when we first got married and we started having kids we Mm -hmm. didn't have a lot of money to put you know, gifts and toys and things like that. And had it not been for my kids, their godparents, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. buying clothes and gifts and things like Mm -hmm. that, we would have had very little um, uh, under the tree. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that the church has always done, we have always tried to share things with various domestic violence shelters, with women programs, with programs um, out here for women and children. But it's not just during the holidays. They need things throughout the year. Amen. Throughout the year. So look, I, I urge you, I employ you to you know, look around in your community and see who you can help during the holidays. There are plenty of people out here who need help. 
There are plenty of people out here who are going to be sad, who are going to be depressed. Maybe you can just give a kind word to somebody. You know, you're saying happy holidays or, Mm -hmm. oh my God, you really look nice. Mm -hmm. You just don't know how that's going to uplift somebody's spirits. So what I want to do Mm -hmm. is... I, we're going to talk about a little bit about self-care during the holidays, Absolutely. but I want to play a game with you. Okay. Because uh, my family, we are good at games. We're very competitive, but we're very good at games. So we're going to play a game right now, mm-hmm. uh, gift or no gift. Okay. Gift or no gift. Gift or no gift. Okay. Do you give your pastor a gift for Christmas? Yes. Okay. You don't have to say it, girl, because I'm the first lady. You don't mm-hmm. <laughs> have to say it. But do you, think, do you think people should give their pastor a gift? Yes. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. And we want you to chime in. Put in the comment section where do you think it should be gift or no gift? Your hairstylist or your barber? Absolutely. Okay. Because you're there every Friday. I am there faithfully every Friday. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Gift or no gift? The nail technician. Since I don't get my nails done... (laughs) However, for the people who do, mm-hmm. absolutely, you okay. should All right. give them a lovely gift. So you say gift. Okay. Yes, ma'am. The mailman or a mail lady, mail carrier. Yes, absolutely. These are per- persons that are delivering your mail, whether it's on time, even if the address is incorrect. If you have a regular mail deliverer, absolutely. You okay. should remember. But these are federal employees who are I making... Under- Hey, hold on. Uh-oh. Yes, okay. because they are federal employees. They're not making the money that they or used civil, to make. Or civil service employees. Civil service employees. Mm-hmm. Nah, so we need to get them a little extra bump. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Okay. Mm-hmm. The in-laws. Woo, I'm not married yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm not married yet. However, mm-hmm. absolutely. Yeah, I believe you should give your in-laws. Well, I'm not giving my in-laws no gift. I'm sure you love them. So show them, them some, okay. show them some appreciate, even if it's just a small gift card. Okay. To uh, maybe like a, a dinner, like if they like Red Lobster. Now, now my mother-in-law and father-in-law, they're on the other side of life. But my sister-in-law, one of my sister-in-laws is a millionaire. Understand. Here's what you can give her, the mm-hmm. gift of prayer. Okay. Thank you. All right. You're a Christian. Right, come on. Uh, you, come on. Give her all something. Right. All right. Aunts and uncles. <laughs> Yes, I have a favorite Mm-mm. aunt. Mm-mm. I, I do. I have a favorite Mm-mm. aunt. It's my mother's sister. Absolutely. And that's the only sister my, my mother has. I make sure I give her a Christmas present because she helped my mother take care of my sister and I. My mother was a young mother. Gotcha. She was 18 when she had me and 21 when she had my sister. If the Lord says the same, she'll be... 74 in wow. March. And so my sister next Saturday will be 52. I'm already double nickels. So wow. at the end of the day, my aunt was there. Okay. So she bought presents and everything okay. all the way up until we got grown, if you will. Now, my maternal grandma okay. never gave us gifts. She said, I have 38 grandchildren mm. and that's too many. So nobody, okay. nobody's getting a gift. Okay. Now, so imagine how many cousins I have. So she passed away like maybe, you know, 18, 20 years ago. Okay. Um, but so I have a lot of cousins. Okay. Cousins, gift or no gift? No, you can just give them the <laughs> gift of prayer. <laughs> Say, I'm thinking of you. Okay. Here's a big family. So uh, no, no gift to no the cousins. No gift, no. All right, here we go. Your boss, your manager, your supervisor, your boss, your immediate Supervisor, we're not talking about the CEO or the COO, but we're talking about manager, supervisor, mm-hmm. your immediate boss. Yes, I would give him a, or a her gift. a gift. Uh huh. Him or her a gift. Absolutely. That's not like considered like sucking up. No, uh, because he's not the suck up type. He's a, a retired United States Marine Corps vet. He's gotcha. very hardcore, and hey, I'm an Army vet. Don't okay. matter. All right. We get along. Okay. I would give him a gift. You're going to get him a gift. Okay. Mm-hmm. All am. right. The people on your team, like the people within your department, like that, or maybe they sit in your area. Yes, we're doing Secret Santa. Our okay. holiday party is tomorrow in Skokie. Okay. I don't know where that is, but at the Holiday Inn in Skokie. So we're going to okay. do the exchanging of gifts tomorrow with our team. Okay. Mm-hmm. So now, like, we have band members here. I okay. think we have, like, but all in all, we have band members that play on Sunday, and we have some mm-hmm. band members that play, like, for special events. Okay. Are you giving, like, musicians, band members? Should we give them a gift? Gift Absolutely. or no gift? Absolutely. Gift. 
Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. I, I don't know. I'm going to meditate on it. I'm going to okay. pray on okay. it. Uh, the sanitation worker, the garbage man, the garbage women, the people that come and pick up your trash, gift or no gift? Gift. They have the dirtiest job in the world. Minister Fowler, you're giving everybody a gift except your what? cousins and your uncles. <laughs> <Guess what? laughs> I'm just a generous, free-hearted person. Okay. I give how the Lord leads me to do that. So we want to know what you think. Absolutely. These people that we we mentioned, gift or no gift, we want to know. Because I'm if we listen to Minister Fowler, we didn't spent already two thousand dollars. You know, even if we just giving out gift cards, because she done racked it up. Gift, 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 gift. It is the season of giving, but we have to we gotta have some structure. We gotta draw the line. You know what? Absolutely. And and in many instances, a lot of those people on the list. May not get gifts from anywhere else wow. or anyone else. Wow. So this may be just the very wow. gift that they can appreciate from us. So what about our producer? Should we get our producer a gift? Absolutely. I don't know. Very hard has she, work. Has she been naughty or nice? That's she the has question. Been, she has been different. <laughs> <laughs> She has been different. She's going to cut us off now. <laughs> <laughs> However, yes, I do believe that um, she deserves a gift. Okay. So, look, let us know. Absolutely. Gift or no gift. We'd like to know what you think. Mm -hmm. uh, we'd like to hear your opinions, your Absolutely. comments. We want to read your comments. Mm -hmm. Please let us know. Gift or no gift uh, for all of these different people. Well, let's talk a little bit about self-care during the holidays. Absolutely. It, the holidays are, it's a lot of work. A lot of work. And it's a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I never thought I would be a person to shop online. I was adamantly opposed to it right out the gate. I said, I'm not going to ever shop online. I think it's crazy. You can't take mm -hmm. stuff back. You got to wait. But now I do a lot more shopping online, you know, because I'm getting older. I look good, but I'm Amen. getting older. Amen. Um, and I can't be out there in the malls and with COVID and RSV and all of that shoulder to shoulder because nope. I have to have my mask, my pink gloves. And mm -hmm. It's too much. So mm -hmm. I do a lot of shopping online, mm -hmm. but after I do the shopping, mm -hmm. somebody's got to wrap all of that stuff. And then the cooking mm -hmm. and the cleaning and the prepping for the people that are coming mm -hmm. to visit, not to mention all the things that we have to do here at the church. So it's a very stressful time. What would you recommend to people that will help them kind of take care of themselves during the holidays? Definitely you will want to um, measure things or take things in small increments. Okay. Like you just said, uh, you definitely preparing for the meal, preparing for the people coming. The so you would at least start two weeks before they come. Okay, you talking good now. Definitely plan. want plan. you got plan to plan. Be, if you don't plan or organize, your your failure or lack thereof to plan is not an emergency on anyone's part, not including your good. own for real. Good. So you want to take time and plan. You plan out the meal. You plan out the ingredients you're going to use. Write your list down. Go to the store maybe the next day or two after you've made that plan. You then start making up the beds or get the linens changed, whatever it takes, depending on how many people you're going to house uh, in, your, in your home. You got to be able to do that. If you need to wash the laundry in preparation for that, you got to, I, for me, I take thing. I have to plan. Okay. Self care. Then you pray. Yeah. You definitely want to pray. You have to take some time for yourself mm -hmm. after you've done one thing. Mm -hmm. Take some time for yourself. Sit down. Kick your feet up. Grab your remote. Mm -hmm. Watch television. Reruns mm -hmm. of Sanford and Son. It's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. I'm just saying, reruns of good times, good, all in the family, whatever it is you might want to do that's going to relax you your unwind. mind. You unwind. You may want to kick back with a good book. You may want to put on, hey, mm -hmm. our podcast. But you know what? And I, and I like that because mm -hmm. you got to be careful about what you watch. Mm -hmm. You have to be careful about the music that you listen to. Absolutely. Because, and um, my makeup artist and I were talking about mm -hmm. this. Shout out to CC Pittman. You guys can look her up on Instagram. She's a great makeup artist and she does makeup on location. But we were talking about there are certain musics that you have to avoid mm -hmm. because you know that song is going to make you real melancholy. Mm -hmm. It's going to take mm -hmm. you back down memory lane. So mm -hmm. if you want memory lane to be closed, then don't play those songs that are going to stir up 
Absolutely. you know, those memories Absolutely. Uh, or that are going to bring up those issues mm-hmm. or unresolved issues from um, your previous life, if Absolutely. you will, or things Absolutely. that you haven't quite gotten over yet. Mm-hmm. Um, I recommend people don't, don't watch, if you're struggling with relationship issues, then don't watch all these relationship movies. No. Don't watch all that stuff. Don't don't watch the stuff where, you know, people are getting engaged for the holidays and they're falling in love for the holidays. Honey, that's going to make you want to keel over and slit your wrist. You know, you got to watch things that are going to take your mind off of that and help you refocus. But I do like what you said about prayer. Absolutely. So what else can people do? I like what you said about book. I had that on my list. Um, for, for me, the things that I, um, do, uh, besides prayer and have a good book, I meditate a lot. I put on white noise, uh, okay. in the background. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I just simply just try to take my mind off of all the day's events, mm-hmm. all of the things that I've mm-hmm. encountered that day. Um, and I'll get me a nice cup of tea mm-hmm. or something mm-hmm. and just recline and just relax. Woo-sa. Just a woosa. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, and I think that's good. And I think definitely before you go into those stressful situations. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, so, for example, if you know you're going over someone's house. Absolutely. And an argument usually breaks out. Oh, absolutely. Or somebody's going to reopen you know, those issues from the past. Yes. It might be better, like, right before it gets to that point, you may need to, okay, well, it's time for me to go. You know what? (laughs) Absolutely. Here, in in, in the present words of Carol Burnett, I'm so glad we (laughs) had this this time together. I I gotta go. Together. (laughs) You know, right right before, you know, because you can sense. Absolutely. You can sense when things Absolutely. are about to jump off. Hey. You, you can sense it. You can look at somebody's face. You can look at their body language. And you can see so-and-so is having too much to drink. Mm-hmm. You know, you can tell they come in. They've come already lit. Okay. So, Drunk, speak, yeah. sober thoughts. Yeah. Always remember that. So what you need to do is start start getting your coat. Mm-hmm. Start getting your jacket, your, your bag, your, your backpack, wraps, your purse. You have. And it's okay to say, you know what? I got, I got to go. No, don't go. Don't go. You can say, mm-mm, mm-mm. Get the phone. Say, oh, wait a minute. I just got a text message. Absolutely. Girl, I got, I got the go. phone call. <laughs> I got to go. It's my grandmother's grandmother on, on my daddy's side. Who isn't kin to my aunt or anything? They have an emergency. <laughs> Woo, I got to get out of here. You Thank have, you so much. You have to take care of you. Absolutely. You have to take care of Absolutely. you. And it's no point. You know, I used to be that family member who would try to referee. Like my cousins. Okay. They can only be together three seconds Ooh, before goodness. they go back down memory lane. I hear you mean and, and start talking about mm-hmm. some guy. Ooh. That they fought over some guy that probably married and got thirteen kids, and they thinking about neither one of y'all, and y'all sitting up arguing about what happened that night when he asked you out. And I would try to rep like, no, don't argue, no, you know, okay, well you go in here. I don't do that anymore. I'd be like, look, drop, pull the car, over. pull it. the car over, That's and it. let me out, let me That's out, it. so That's I can it. get an Uber because I, I can't, I can't. It's too Absolute. painful. Absolute. I can't do it. I'm Absolute. too old. I can't do it. You're running my pressure up. You're stressing me out for the holidays. You're turning me off for the holidays. That's it. It's supposed to be, you know, the se- the magical season. Absolutely. And let me tell you something. I used to see this. This is going to help a lot of you. Mm-hmm. And I thought I could, you know, when I first got married, I wanted to do those things that I saw mm-hmm. in the movies. Mm-hmm. And, you know, this is how I know people are easily influenced. Mm-hmm. So I would always go out and get some mistletoe. Okay. And I would hang it over the door. Let me tell you something. That mistletoe don't work in my house. <laughs> Tell you, this real talk. I don't know. This real talk for real people with real problems. I don't know <laughs> whose house it works in, but it does not work in my house. I promise you, when I hung up the mistletoe every year, me and Pastor B argued. I don't know how we start arguing. We start arguing about all kind of stuff. And then he would say, This oh is the worst goodness. Christmas of my life. What? <laughs> what? Your whole life? Oh my goodness! Help you, no, us. no, Fix that, no, that's big. Oh, that's your big. whole life. Oh my really? goodness! Really? And so now I'm shut down. Ain't nobody. I ain't making no more pound cakes, no pies. I ain't doing nothing because you done told me it's the worst Christmas. And then finally, it dawned on me. Every year when I hang up that mistletoe, something is. I'm gonna have to do some research on. So you think the mistletoe think, is cursed? I don't know, you know, but y'all look up this mistletoe before you hang it in your house. Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. I'm okay. for real. Look it up. Okay. Because I don't know. 
I don't know, but I don't buy it anymore. So you no more mistletoe. I do not buy it. I do not hang it over the door. You know, I used to see them. You know, they're kissing mm-hmm. under mm-hmm. the mistletoe. Absolutely. No, no, we were fighting under the mistletoe. So <laughs> I don't. I don't buy it. I don't oh want my it near goodness. my house. No. Nothing. So look, before you take on these traditions, you need to see if that's a good fit for you. Absolutely. And I, I got that stuff off of the movies, trying to be like these. You can't do what you see everybody else doing. No, because that's not how, that's not in reality. That's it's, called perception, not reality. Because yeah. in reality, you just said you were fighting all the time. Mistletoe. I don't know if the mistletoe was cursed or not, but it doesn't work for me understand so now you refuse to buy any mistletoe no i, I guess some, we get poinsettias Poins- okay poinsettias, poinsettias work mm-hmm. well we can Good. handle that okay um we used to get eggnog the only person that drinks eggnog is my older so my oldest son you know i'm not one so, for the eggnog guess either. what i don't drink no, eggnog no. no i told you i'm sticking to the jello shots but anyway <laughs> um no find out what works best for you Absolutely. find out take care of yourself during the holidays. Absolutely. It's so important. You don't want to go into the new year with a lot of negativity. No, not at all. That That's not how you want to start. And you don't want every Christmas, you to dread Christmas no. or to dread New Year's Eve. Um, so we're going to have a watch meeting service here. Okay. Um, so if you're looking for something to do, mm, um, you know, do something positive. Mm-hmm. Find something positive absolutely. to do. Um, here in Chicago, they have a lot of places where you can go and see the lights, where you can go mm-hmm. and you can ice skate. You can do a lot of positive things. There are not a new brunch spots here. There are a lot of churches who are having service. Really kind of think about how you want to spend your holidays and who you want to spend your holidays with. Mm-hmm. Cause see, you may want to spend your holidays with people that really don't want to be with you. Bingo. <laughs> Okay, I want that, you to think about it. it. That is, I want you to think about you're it. You're talking good, yeah. really, right now. Don't, don't get desperate and don't jump on every bandwagon that comes along for the holiday. Oh, I want to take you out. Oh, I want to, you know, I want to take you here. I want to take you there. Mm. I don't know. Nah, you got to be real careful. I don't know, because what you've been doing all year. Mm. Who you've been with all year. Right? You understand what I'm saying? Absolutely. You've been busy all year. You're calling me now. It, and people get very... Um, reminiscent sure during the holidays again you know? they put on many rippets and back down memory and, and let me tell you they like to call their exes during the holidays for real so look i want you to think about this because if you look at that phone and it's your ex guess what you do if you if if that person is your ex, you already have a big old no by their name, and then you just enter, if if you mistakenly answer, I mean mistakenly, send them right on back like Millie Jackson mm-hmm. to the dial tone, ladies and gentlemen. Because That's it. you have they to can talk to your mind. voicemail. That person was your ex for a reason. Absolutely. Now I'm not saying that people can't change. But I, I I don't know. But I'm, you can't change that quickly. I'm gonna have to give you the gift of prayer. A whole <laughs> I'm lot of that. To give you the gift of Answer prayer, prayer. before I decide if I'm gonna answer this call. So I'm gonna let you go to voicemail mm-hmm. and see what you're where you're coming from because I can't let you mess up the joy nope. of the holiday season. Nope. Um, and come on now, I'm just it's this is real talk. Mm-hmm. So please, please think about, be prayerful about your holidays, Mm -hmm. who you're going to give gifts to, why you're giving them gifts. Absolutely. Um, Think about people that are less fortunate than you, because that might make you feel even better to help someone who's less fortunate. Absolutely. Um, Be mindful of all the holiday scams. Woo. There's some schemers and scammers and all of that. I mean, even like if you're going to be out there, I'm not going to ring this bell because producers producers are going to get me in, but even like if you're out there giving to the Salvation Army Mm because they're standing outside the stores. Pull that money out or whatever before you stand outside on the corner Mm -hmm. or outside the store. Now you pulling your wallet out. Mm -hmm. Now you pulling Mm -hmm. your purse out. Mm -hmm. No, have that money already in your hand. So all you have to do is just drop it. So we have to be careful. We want to have a good time during the holidays, but we really have to be careful. Absolutely. Um, So we need to have on the whole armor of God. 
whole armor. Pull yeah. up that breastplate yeah. and hold. Yeah, tight. not just look, not just your boots and and, and your red <laughs> gear and your green gear, but you got to protect your mind, absolutely, protect your body and protect your spirit. Absolutely. We want you to have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful holiday. Absolutely, uh, we want to wish you a very merry Christmas. Merry, 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 merry Christmas, and may God bless you and bring you out of take you out of this year and hopefully into the new year. And please tune into our live stream for New Year's Eve. We're having our watch service with Minister Kendrick Vassar. Yes. He's going to be here. You can go to our website at www.greaterhouseofprayer.org. You mm -hmm. can tune into the live stream service on New Year's Eve. That's 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Or you can join us here if you're in the Chicagoland area. We look forward to seeing you on our very next episode of You Talking Good. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. God bless you. And from Greater House to, to your, your house, house, have, have a, a blessed, blessed week. week.